Hi, so this video follows on from the previous video on composite functions. So what I mentioned in the previous video is that I was going to swap these two functions around the other way around because the order is so important with these. Now this is a new topic for GCSE Maths, fairly high level, so I hope that you're going to be able to follow this one okay. But what we're doing is we're saying that the output from g of x, which is x squared minus 4, we're going to plug that output into this uh, function here, which is 2x minus 2. So what we end up with is the composite function fg of x is the same as saying 2 times x squared minus 4 minus 2. Okay, so all I've done there is I've taken that x squared minus 4 and I've plugged it into this function here. If you're not sure about what I'm doing here, please do have a look at the previous videos on the playlist. Okay, and then really it's just a case of solving this, uh, not solving it, making it a little bit more simple. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared, and 2 times minus 4 is going to be minus 8, and then I've got minus 2 here. So that will just simplify out as 2x squared minus 10, and that would be perfectly fine to answer the first part of this question. The second part of the question is where they ask you to solve it. So if we're solving it, what we're doing really is factorising 2x squared minus 10. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take 2 away and I'm going to have 0 equals 2 times x squared minus 5. OK, and then really I can use difference of two squares and just produce this in a third form. Again, if you're not sure about some of this, please do have a look at some of the previous videos. Um, but we'll have 0 equals 2, x plus root 5, and x minus root 5. OK, and that will allow me to solve this particular values of fg of uh, x when they're equal to 0, where x equals minus root 5 and x equals positive root 5. OK, so I hope that's been OK for you. It does get a little tricky towards the end, particularly if you're not, uh, uh, not aware of these kind of factorisation principles that we can use. Um, I hope it, however, has been OK. Please do add a comment below, uh, like, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.